Hey everyone, Red here and welcome back to the 30 days of Xeomorph. In today's build, we have the Infinite Screams build, so let's go ahead and break it down. First, we have Hex Face of Darkness. Injury inspired by any means will light a dull totem, activating the Hex. While the Hex is active, all other survivors outside of your terror radius will scream every 25 seconds, revealing their positions and auras for 2 seconds. Whenever the initial survivor enters the dying state or becomes healthy, the Hex home will become a dull tome again until this perk is reactivated later down the line. Second, we have Eruption. After damaging a generator, its aura is highlighted yellow. Whenever a survivor enters the dying state, every gen afflicted with Eruption will detonate for 10% of progress and begin regressing. If any survivors are repairing that generator when it explodes, they will scream and reveal their aura for 12 seconds. Third, we have Infectious Fright. Any survivors that are in your terror radius while another survivor is put into the dying state will scream and reveal the location to you for 6 seconds. Last but not least, we have Ultimate Weapon. When you open a locker, this perk will activate for 30 seconds. Whenever a survivor enters your terror radius, they will scream, reveal their position, and gain the blindness aspect for 30 seconds. As far as add-ons, we're bringing, of course, Harpoon Gun. Exiting a tunnel and hitting a survivor within 10 seconds causes all survivors farther than 24 meters away from you to scream and reveal their locations. Second add-on is up to you, but I went with the Parker's Headband, which means after exiting a tunnel, we will gain the haste effect for 3 seconds. Overall, this should be very fun and loud build so let's go ahead and get to the gameplay all right in game number one it looks like we have mount orman not exactly like the best map for what we're going for because it's quite open and really really spread but we'll see what we can do we'll wait on using our ultimate weapon for now oh here we go oh we got such a long like pathway here the little main here is always really really brutal I'm aware of the whole coin thing, but I don't really think it helps on certain main buildings. Even if it does, though, I don't really want to bring coin a lot. Okay. Are we going right inside? Oh, I thought we were right underneath. Whoops. Oh, well. We're branch off over here since we have a survivor who looks like they're grabbing a turret. I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, cool. No gamer. I can't let you have that. Not too bad. That's a pretty quick first down. We could still be at like loss of maybe losing one gen. Cool. We'll go ahead and head right back into our tunnel. And I really want to look at getting to a locker here soon if I can. Oh, wow. Not the giant thought that'd be going. Get rid of that. Then we don't got to worry about it until later. And this is good. We should have about three survivors busy. Someone else is going to have to go for the save. We can kind of chase him. Ooh. Thought I had it. Oh, well. Oh, nice. You know what? I like it. Why don't you keep that? That way we have Face the Darkness up. That will start our screaming adventure. Actually, here we go. Just to make sure we don't miss anybody. Claudette. All right. Hello. Thank you. I actually thought she was going to drop it for a second. Okay. Ooh, really? I don't get it. You know, the hotfix came in today. And I gotta say, I feel like the tail is a little off. There we go. Not in terms of the like cooldowns. I know they changed that. But like the actual hitbox feels a little off. No, that's mine. So with the cooldown, it might be something we have to think about a little bit more. Let's see if we can actually get this real quick. While playing Xeno, it might be someone you have to think about more. Instead of maybe hitting the uh, turret, if you actually want to take the turret, knock you out, that way you can at least get like a basic attack. You're going to have to think a little bit more about uh, using your tail for turrets. It does gain a little bit more distance for survivors. There we go. Right side, we do have a survivor who is ready to be out of the game. And with fun meme builds like this, you definitely want to thank you. You want to try and get as much pressure as you can quickly. Dwight. Nice, man. Let's see if we can maybe go for... We can. Awesome. Up you go, Dwight. And they're still screaming over there, which is great. It looks like they might have been healing. So we want to try and head over there as quickly as we can. And whenever we're down here, now anyone can scream. It's another reason why I wanted to do Face the Darkness. We're right here, too. Uh... Got it. Wow. Just in time. And look at that. 
the Omega Scream. Prep up Eruption for later. You could probably swap out Eruption if you want to, but I think it's just a nice little piece of regression since we're gonna be moving around a lot anyways. Well, we got them right here. They're trying to heal up. I'm gonna try and deny the last heal if I can. Ooh. Yeah, we can go for you. That works. What? Really? Alright. I mean, again, it feels like the tail is just off today. Nope, not here. Cool. This tile can be a little awkward to play on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, you actually must have uh, left tile? Oh, you really left tile. Fair enough. Must have ran off when I just couldn't see the uh, scratch marks. That works. We'll go for like a basic here if we can. This is a very unsafe uh, pal to play on. There we go. Face Darkness is back in play, but I think we're going to try and go for the down. We'll see how she plays off of it, though. Oh yeah, this is a pretty easy snack here. I don't think she gets it. It'll be close though. There we go. And right to Shaq we win. Fair enough. Hi. Oh, I was really hoping I could actually hit the turret as well in that. We can go for Dwight. That way we have everyone injured. We can look to maybe wrap up the game on like another good play. There. Now we have two survivors over in this corner. Setting up another turret. Cool. You can also use ultimate weapon, you know, as a way to like watch someone maybe on a hook, but we didn't need to do it here. Ooh, you got a really bad start there. Was not watching that corner well enough. Uh, no! You you're not allowed to have a turret here, I'm sorry. Set this up for later, not that we'll need it, but might as well get as much value as we can. And I'm guessing he ran all the way over here. I love how fast we traverse the map. What are we doing? Oh yeah. My guy is out of luck. Ooh, and we have you right over here, cool. Oh, she actually gave me my totem, hold up. Can I actually hit this? Let's see. No, the answer is no, I, can't, I cannot hit that. Fair enough, you know what, that's your W for the game. He's busy. Let's go next. Shelter Woods. Here we go. I got a little bit more of an open map, but I'm really comfortable on all the Macmillan maps for the most part. And we have a locker at least right here. Get to start the game off. Ooh, even better, we get to start off by knowing where someone is. Oh, she has no idea. Hi. She was looking behind her the whole time until I just that turn around. And now we have Face the Darkness in play. We love to see it. Oh, we got a turret right here, so... I'm guessing. Yeah, we're right there. I'm trying to avoid the turret. Ow. That's such a long range. Like, when you actually think about it, that's a very long range turret. Thank you. Let's see if I can swing out this way. I'll tag the turret in a second. We want to get eruption going. Now we got that hit and run going. We have people screaming already. So, might as well have uh, someone set up for later. Oh, here we are. Cool. Got. Two survivors. Is that Claudette? It is. Well, we'll go ahead and get Face of Darkness back up. And we need to really put a, uh, a chase away now, I think. Michaela, you are the perfect person to get a lot of pressure. Oh, you actually held it forward. I thought I could maybe get her just as we were going by, but that makes sense. Nope. Can't allow it. Maybe we can look for a fun little snipe. You what? No, I, I swear, there, there's something off about the the tail strike today. Something's got to be a little off, I swear. Maybe, maybe it's just copium, alright? Maybe it is, but it just feels that way today. Ooh, managed to get a gen done, fair enough. Kind of like a slower start. Oh, hello. Yeah, that kind of works for me. And there go more screams. Okay, can I pick up game? Thank you. There we go. I think we have somebody over here, but just in case, we'll open this up. 
That was face the darkness because we had aura reading with it. And there goes the, uh, <laughs> you know that survivor's just like, why? Why so much screaming? Yeah, I'm gonna go for more like precise hits, I think, until I figure out like exactly what's going on. There we go. I don't know. That one hits, but that works, I guess. Feels like the drag or like the actual movement feels a little off than it used to. Either way, though, we're feeling pretty good so far. Sack up eruption for the next round. Oh, we got someone right here. I didn't think they'd have a lot of pressure, but they do. Oh, I was just a second behind. We got one survivor who was going for the save. Or, you're hovering here. There it is. Going for the swap. Going for the swap. Interesting. I'll go ahead and hook up right away. That's fine. They can have it. We got a pretty good handle on the game so far. Where are we going? Looks like we're just kind of holding forward. That's fine. I probably should go into like a tunnel. That way we can get more value off of our streams. But that's alright. I think we're doing pretty good right, right now. Balance landing. Ooh. I literally was swapping right there. That works. Oh, you got someone downstairs. So I'm looking for a med kit down here? Hello? Oh, you know, my first thought was actually self care. I don't know why, but it was. Oh well, we'll go ahead and just hook up. We have to be on this gen, right? Yeah. There weren't any other gens, so. Thank you, hold that. Okay, it gives me roughly a good idea. Did the Claudette actually stay over here? No, okay. I thought maybe she was gonna try and hide from us. I saw them both heading over here, but oh. I think we found everybody. We have Michaela. Ooh, here we go. Gamer. Oh no, that was the uh, wrong way. Wanna, wanna fall? No? How about now? There it is. Alright. I tried. I always try and take a few extra open shots. That would like that was uh just off in general. There we go. We take a quick peek at it, see if anyone's over here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and hook up. I think that's the call. Alright, here we go. They did get a gen done, but. We have ultimate weapon up. There we go. And we have everybody moving in for the save. This is exactly one. If we can get survivors grouped up. Where'd you go? You gotta be going for the save. You're the only one. There you are. Cool. I thought for a second we were gonna miss that. And I was gonna be uh, a little upset. Can we go too? We can, awesome. There's already the infectious fright. Oh yeah. You don't really have anywhere to go here. That's one of the downside of the shelter woods. It does not have the most of resources. Alright, let's go ahead and get ultimate weapon real quick. That's one of the nice things about ultimate weapon, especially at like the end game. It almost always allows us to find that last survivor. Yeah, just like that. How are we playing it? You're trying to walk away. Or, like, waiting for exhaust. There we go. Not too bad. Let's go one more. Ooh, Midwitch. Uh, should be interesting. It's a small map, so lots of potential for, like, infectious fright. We'll wait on the locker thing, though, for a little bit. I want to go right into our tunnel and see if we can find a survivor. Ooh, I heard something. Nice. I wasn't sure if that was taking me upstairs or downstairs. Mm, yeah, a lot of distance, but Nia doesn't. How are we playing it? Oh, that's definitely a hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, like that hit was way different. Like our strafe, we're, I feel like the strafing is just really off today. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
I hear you working on it. Hey, man. You know, him saying still, I actually almost made him dodge that hit. I didn't expect it. We're just gonna hold it forward. I don't know if I wanna play on the chase if he like leaves the dial. Oh. Nice. He actually broke us out. Yeah, he's already got quite a bit of distance. I think we're just gonna let him go here. We'll go ahead and get our locker though. That way we can start making people scream. Another fun thing would be like an anti-heal build with something like ultimate weapon and lots of screaming. Ooh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh man. How many screams was that just now? Grab that. Cool. Did we come immediately right back? We did. Well, I'll get a rub shot on this for later, though. And since we have people moving... Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna get back to my tunnel and see where these two are going. Oh, they're healing up right in the hall. They moved a little bit away from Hook, but not much. Hopefully they don't expect us. Uh-oh. Hi. Oh, not ready for huh? Uh, are, are we done? I don't know if we're done or if she was going down either way, but we'll get up and see if they, like, give up on Hook. Hopefully not, because it means we gotta move next. Hopefully no one leaves. I'd like to continue this game. Been quite a lot of levers lately in Dead by Daylight. Oh, hold that for me. We can threaten it. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and move away. I probably could really threaten it, and even like if it was like a serious game, we could even like force it, but we can get back here so much quicker. Yeah, just like this, just so good. Make everybody scream. <laughs> well, surprisingly enough, we're getting probably the most. Oh, you stayed here. Thank you. Surprisingly enough, though, we are getting the most value, I think, so far out of the build on this uh, map. Which I wouldn't expect. Normally, like something like the game, though, I would expect we get a lot. One over there. Get rid of this for later. And set up our eruption. You'll be screaming soon if you stayed. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Nia! How we doing it? We'll take it. Alright, now let's see. Do we have anyone nearby? Nope, no one's nearby, so we're good to go ahead and head out. Plus, we'll have a scream ready for whenever we pop out of a tunnel, which I'm guessing... Oh, they missed a skill check. It's like right here. Yep. And now, that survivor's given up. I don't think it really changes the uh, pacing of the game, though. So, we'll keep it for now. Can I... Really? Fair enough. There we go. At least we got that one. Early drop. Ooh. Yeah, that drag we can hit, but like the other drags just so weird. I got... I've, I've seen the hitbox, but I feel like it's always just really finicky. On like, it's not like a really consistent hitbox. Yeah, I know you're back here. Oh, we have everybody over here. Looking for maybe head-on play? Oh, no. There we go. Just one of the uh, flashbang. Are you done, Zo? All right, let's put the game away real quick then. Yeah, it should be fine on, like, the pacing. Ah. Are, are those bags? There you go. You know, you can bag all day, but... Now he's got to put it away. There. Just to make sure as we're moving along. I respect it. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here, guys. Which is fine. I think it was a pretty good showing early on for the build. And this is why we do more games for the 30 days now. Are you in the locker? I can't tell. 
Cool. I just want to make sure. Ace is just so quiet, though. And there we go. That is today's build. Definitely try it on your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off. <laughs>